Hello everybody. So I switched over to Unity 5. Uh, there are a couple of issues, small issues, with the Unity 5 importer. Um, first off, the lighting model changed substantially, which means that we're having uh, very different lighting and you're going to want to adjust all your lights. The second thing is that uh, the UI doesn't import quite properly, at least mine didn't. And so I've got to redo some Unity events and shift around some UI elements. Uh, but I didn't have any code errors. There's no coding required to fix any of this stuff. Uh, one of the things I was pleased to find is that they fixed the terrain, and you can see that now I'm not having any problem shaping terrain. Uh, previously, I, I had some issues with terrain. I couldn't get it to shape properly, which was a real shame and uh, really obnoxious. But it works now. It's also de It also defaults to, I think, one-tenth the size that it used to be, which is an interesting choice. Uh, but it also has normals. Now, if you are familiar with the... Uh, default terrain system in the old version of Unity, it did not have normals. And normals are great. But it does have one drawback, one problem. And that is simply that it uh, does not accept shadows from anything other than the most basic of sources. And that means, basically, uh, you can't use any of your cool shadow effects from, say, a point light or a, uh, um, or a spotlight on terrain. It just doesn't work. And if you try if you, if you try very hard, you'll actually short out the terrain and it will just light. It'll just be like, whatever, I'm on, I, I'm lit, whatever. Uh, and so you have to be careful when you do that sort of thing. Uh, other than that, however, it seems like everything is in fairly good hands. Uh, it seems to most, uh, most more or less work. And I thought I would just show you that it, it is pretty easy to do. Uh, you just import your project and it all runs just fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and paint a little bit of joy here. Why not, right? And then you can hit play, and we can, or I can hit play, you can't because you're somewhere else. And you can see that all this stuff just imported just fine. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting a function here. I think maybe I'm at the wrong height. Oh, is it because I didn't tag the terrain as terrain? Hold on. The terrain has to be set up uh, as terrain, and this is a new terrain object. There we are. The ray casting wasn't finding it because it was, wasn't was marked properly. There we go. No problems. And we're back where we were. And in case you're wondering, I'll be explaining where we were pretty soon, but I want to make a little bit more progress before I do. Uh, there are a lot of cool features in this that are, are starting to come to light, but they're not advanced enough that I feel comfortable talking about them just yet. Still, here you can see what I'm talking about. This uh, point light is supposed to cast shadows, or sorry, this, uh, this headlight here is supposed to cast shadows, and it doesn't actually cast shadows on the terrain, but it does cast shadows onto the wall. So you're going to want to be aware of that. The terrain does not do shadow casting very well, uh, but everything else seems to do just fine. And um, all in all, it was a pretty easy switch. Thank you for your time. Oh yeah, and it now catches all of the keyboard presses, so you can't press F10 to stop recording anymore unless you actually walk your mouse out over to your record software, click on that to force Unity to stop intercepting every single key press, and then hit F10.